What was your name again? Menis. Kelsier glanced back at Tepper. So, Goodman Menis, tell me something. Why do you let him lead? When you get to be my age, you have to be very careful where you waste your energy. Some battles just aren't worth fighting. You're satisfied with this, then? Kelsier nodded toward the hovel and its half-starved, overworked occupants. You're content with a life full of beatings and endless drudgery? At least, it's a life. I know what wages malcontent and rebellion bring. The eye of the Lord Ruler and the ire of the Steel Ministry can be far more terrible than a few whippings. Men like you preach change, but I wonder, is this a battle we can really fight? You're fighting it already, Goodman Menace. You're just losing horribly. But what do I know? I'm just a traveling miscreant here to eat your food and impress your youths. You jest, but Tepper might have been right. I fear your visit will bring us grief. That's why I didn't contradict him. At least, not on the troublemaker point. In fact, I'd say calling me a troublemaker is probably the only accurate thing Tepper has said since I got here. How do you do that? What? Smile so much. Oh, I'm just a happy person. You know, I've only seen scars like those on one other person, and he was dead. His body was returned to Lord Tresting as proof that his punishment had been carried out. He'd been caught speaking of rebellion. Tresting sent him to the pits of Hathsin, where he worked until he died. The lad lasted less than a month. Kelsier glanced down at his hands and forearms. They still burned sometimes, though he was certain the pain was only in his mind. He looked up at Menace. You ask why I smile, Goodman Menace? Well... The Lord Ruler thinks he has claimed laughter and joy for himself. I'm disinclined to let him do so. This is one battle that doesn't take very much effort to fight. Menace stared at Kelsier, and for a moment Kelsier thought the old man might smile in return. However, Menace eventually just shook his head. I don't know. I just don't know. The sound came from outside, perhaps to the north, he wasn't sure. Kelsier burned tin. It was simple for him now, after years of practice. The tin sat with other alimentic metals within his stomach, swallowed earlier, waiting for him to draw upon them. He reached inside with his mind and touched the tin, tapping powers he still barely understood. The tin flared to life within him, burning his stomach like the sensation of a hot drink swallowed too quickly. Alimentic power surged through his body, enhancing his senses. The room around him became crisp, the dull fire pit flaring to near blinding brightness. He could feel the grain in the wood of the stool beneath him. He could still taste the remnants of the loaf of bread he'd snacked on earlier. Most importantly, he could hear the women with supernatural ears. Two separate people. One was an older woman, the other a younger woman, perhaps a child. Poor Jess. That child of hers was a curse. It's better for Ska not to have pretty daughters. Lord Tressing was sure to send for the girls sooner or later. We all knew it. Jess knew it. Still a shame, though. Burning tin, Kelsier was able to judge the direction accurately. They were moving toward the Lord's Manor. The sounds set something off within him, and he felt his face flush with anger. Does Lord Tresting ever return the girls after he's finished with them? Lord Tresting is a law-abiding nobleman. He has the girls killed after a few weeks. He doesn't want to catch the eye of the Inquisitors. That was the Lord Ruler's command. He couldn't afford to have half-breed children running around, children who might possess powers that Ska weren't even supposed to know existed. As the voices got further away, Kelsier's anger built. The yells reminded him of other screams, a woman's screams from the past. (coughs) He stood abruptly, stool toppling to the ground behind him. Careful, lad. Remember what I said about wasting energy. You'll never raise that rebellion of yours if you get yourself killed tonight. I'm not here to lead a rebellion among you, Goodman Menace. I just want to stir up a little trouble. What good could that do? New days are coming. Survive a little longer, and you just might see great happenings in the final empire. I bid you all thanks for your hospitality. With that, he pulled open the door and strode out into the mist. 